Now he's trying to have his fighter beat him and take that title. It's a great storyline and a fight with quite a few good storylines. Oh, yeah. Okay, adjustment time for Andrade. Steve, it's very early, but he hadn't done much right so far. Well, one thing to watch with Andrade that makes him very different from most fighters, his defense. He doesn't like to block punches with his forearms and gloves. He has a nerve problem in his arms, and his arms get numb. So he likes to ride with punches. Very strange, but in a, in a sense, it justifies when he gets hit in the face. Uh, he can take a shot. But he's got to win some rounds. Lute using the ring. Do the tight turns. He'll move which way he wants. And Andrade trying to come in, just showing him the jab against the southpaw. Right hand from Andrade. Purposeful movement from Butte. He showed a lot of control in that first round because if that crowd does anything to you when you're the local fighter, it makes you fight a little harder and a little more. And he showed control. He boxed beautifully, fought exactly how he wanted to fight. And he's making Andrade uncomfortable. He's making Andrade step back and reload. That is not where the man in black wants to be. He wants to start violating the champion's space here. And you know, Steve, uh, the weigh-in, the IBF wait, wait. rules, they had a weigh-in again today, and they both put on about 10 pounds. That's all they're allowed to put on. Uh, right. From what yesterday's weigh-in to, again, officially today, I think it's a great rule. But Boutte, my point, looks like a pretty big guy, and he's firing rapid-fire combinations now, nailing Andrade to the body. Andrade trying to get on track offensively. Hey! Nick, even if Andrade loses these early rounds, it's critical for his success later in the fight that he applies a lot of pressure. He has to take something out of Boutte early to be able to cash in late. Uh, the body would be a good idea. Not so easy to execute. No, Boutte, I... what a boxer. Andrade's got three problems now. The jab, the left hand that comes behind it, and Boutte's nice little subtle movement in turning to the sides. Yeah, and uh, he just tried to bully Boutte, which is a good idea as well, to really get him uncomfortable. But Boutte looks just as strong as him. Boutte in blue, Andrade in black, and here come the combinations again from Boutte. That'll get the crowd into the floor. Oh, looks like a head right there. Southpaw versus righty, it'll happen often, but Boutte jumped in there. Yeah, Boutte just picking him off with lead left hands now. Another clear round for Lich and Boutte, our title fight, and Showtime Championship Boxing is coming up next week. Two objects can't occupy the same space at the same time. So when two men claim the same crown. Our beautiful style matchups, the Mahara Starchinian, more contrast boxer against slugger. Can't wait for that November 1st. Championship boxing here on Showtime. And we've got a title fight here on Showbox tonight. Round three, Lucian Boutte in blue. The world champion at super middleweight IBF and Lebrano Andrade trying to take it away here tonight. Andrade trying to get in. He's got to keep throwing. He's just got to be busier, Steve. And in terms of the ring real estate, every time Andrade has worked his way in and gotten close, Butte's grabbed him. Butte backing up now. He'll swing off to the right. He'll move to the left. He's absolutely maneuvering Andrade around. Watch the elbow. Okay, uh, let's go. Elbow <laughs> warning for Andrade. I tell you, Andrade landed a right hand, the first punch of note that he's landed in the entire fight. And what happens? He gets a warning. Here comes Andrade, tries to stick a right, but short. He's having big problems with the southpaw. Andrade's met southpaws. Yeah, at least four or five times. Otis Grant, Grant yeah, right? he's, he's in th three southpaws on record the last four years. Should be enough. Nice right hand from Andrade. Andrade now trying to make the champion uncomfortable, rattle him. And here comes that straight left hand. Interesting that the uh, champion's doing that, really scoring with those lead left hands against the right hand. 
Nice counter from Butte as he, Butte as he pushes Andrade off. Andrade just short with those shots, and he gets wrapped with a combination coming in. No man's land. He's in a wrong spot. Bad idea not letting his hands go. Well, Nick, it's all Butte. What he has to guard against is sometimes when you're a boxer and you have great offensive success, you do a lot more punching and a lot more fighting because you're successful with your shots. He has to be careful and keep pace in mind. He's getting to fight when he wants a little bit. Andrade just standing there, not doing enough when he's closing the gap. He's walking in without punching. So Boutte gets a free pass, and there rocks Andrade with a combination. Andrade continues to plow forward, and he gets wobbled. That was more or less a push, but he got hit with a combination, Steve. And you watch Boutte's footwork. He's never against the ropes, or at least so far in three rounds he hasn't been. And the balance you spoke about earlier. It's clear he's got a lot of class. Crowd yelling Boutte. We're in Montreal, if you just joined up. This is a super middleweight IBF title fight, and Lucian Boutte in blue is the belt holder. Nice combination from him. Lebrado Andrade, now living in the United States, has come together. If you stay like that, you're going to be world champion at the end. You're going to stay sharp. you got to be focused. One thing, you need, one thing you need to do is to be careful. Don't, don't be too tall on his right hand. You're going to be watch out. One, two, three, four. He's backing up straight, so keep going. Action from round three. It's the first time we thought maybe Andrade was wobbled, but you see, Butte's right foot, Andrade's left. They tangle. Happens often with southpaws against righties. Andrade was not hurt. Now, here the, here's the end of the round. Watch Andrade. Big smile. Butte smiles right back. You know, I think Butte's uh, trainer, Stefan LaRouche, our interpreter, Toa, really nailed it. He said that Andrade's moved, pulling straight out, and that has really been a flaw in his defense. He gets hit on the way in, he gets hit on the way out. He gets hit a lot. Yes. <laughs> Andrade trying to make it happen. Oh, he got hit with a laser beam of a left hand from Boutte, and Andrade trying to get mean inside. He's just willing his way forward. Not avoiding enough punches, and Boutte controlling the ring, the action, the flow. But give it to Boutte, doing a good job of avoiding those bull rushes. Andrade's mission, Nick, in the early rounds, even if he loses them, take something away from Boutte. He hasn't done it at all so far. Boutte can box 25 rounds at this pace. And yeah, Boutte just has more ways to win, Steve. Andrade's right hand to the body. Boutte backed off a little bit. So a nice body shot from Andrade. Coming in square now. Boutte got hit with a hook. He did. It's a big shot. So the best round of the fight for Andrade. Combination firepower and return from Boutte. Steve Andrade's got to win these rounds. He's got to pull himself into the fight. How does he start doing it again? Well, I'll tell you, one thing he's not doing is the fight progresses. He's not jabbing his way in, perhaps because he's facing a southpaw. Boy, but, you know, it looks like Boutte's head is there to be hit. But good head movement from him. He's not getting hit flush a lot. a lot from Boutte that jab turns into like a hook and uh, it's a little bit of a sloppy habit in my opinion it's really effective with that straight jab left hand over the top body hasn't gone to the body enough and that's what I mean about taking something away from Boutte 
save, content to wait now and counter. And tie up. Andrade Nick has no history of cutting. I think he's cut only once in his career. But the heads are starting to bang. Oh, he got hit with a left hand there coming in. Andrade just can't, he's not looking sharp at all in terms of Aileen Boutte. Boutte with an uppercut there. Still a better round for Andrade. Definitely. So those hands are coming together a lot. <laughs> Certainly the best punch he's thrown. Why did he land it? Because Boutet was attacking him. Boutet has to let Andrade do the attacking. End of the round. This is the end of round four. A little wink from Andrade, but no smiles after four. I wouldn't be smiling if I'm in a 4 0 hole, Steve. One thing in On round enemy four. Turf. Yeah. One thing in round four, Nick Andrade was very reckless with his head. Something to look for. I haven't seen a warning yet from referee Marlon Wright. Andrade just having trouble. Good point, Steve. Figuring out Boutte. He's getting out boxed. And Boutte's hanging with him when they're punching. So he's not getting drawn into a firefight. He doesn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And Andrade's trying to make it personal right now. Little mark on the Boutte's right eye. He's beginning to get hit. Andrade's got to mug him, Steve. Yeah, he's doing that. Sometimes with his fists, sometimes with his head. Whoa. That was the best part. Okay, watch, watch your head, okay? Watch his leg head. was Let's in go. the air on one leg. Andrade still clocked Boutte with a left hook. Good for him. If a guy's going to grab you by the leg, keep punching. Make him pay for it. And that's what Andrade has to do. Keep punching. Walking in, walking in. He's really abandoned the body, and that nice right hands from Andrade. And Boutet's sort of hanging on a little bit. Boy, this up, up, is Boutte. this is going according to script, except round five. I thought this would be more like round eight when this happened. Yeah. Andrade, here he comes. He's strictly headhunting now, though, Steve. Walks into a left or right hand. He's walking into a barrage of short punches. There's that triple jab from Boutte. So Boutte rallying back here in the fifth. Nonetheless, Nick, Andrade oozing confidence right now. You can see it in the way he's bouncing as he comes forward. Boutte's punch output definitely lower this round. He's gunning for him, Steve. And the guess is he doesn't feel Boutte. You know, he's felt his punches. They haven't deterred him. He does have that rock solid chin. Nobody deters him. But it's a question of class. That's why he got beat against Kessler. No disgrace. Left hand from Boutte lands. Now they mug. Three shots left, followed by a right from Andrade. Andrade eats a combination, fires back himself. Boutte with a little stick there. Probably not a good idea to drop your hands. Here comes Andrade, closing, closing. He can't get off clean shots, not enough of them. Nick, I don't want to say that Boutte has become unhinged, but he looks very uncomfortable right now, and this fight is going exactly as Andrade would have wanted it to. Oh, boy. This is a title fight. Nice combination, Andrade. Back comes Boutte. He takes shots with the right hand from Andrade. And Hugh Boutte better not get macho on this guy. Could be trouble. Big round for Lovato Andrade, it seems. Howard Grant said nothing fancy, just to throw some combinations.